Hi lovelies. So I'm hoping that this is catching because I want to read a new book to you today. It's called Let There Be Light. Can you see? Okay. <clears throat> Hope you're doing well. Look at this guy. He's so cute. Okay, so this is just um, words from the, the author and the person who does it. But this is Tan Slice. You are part of something truly amazing. Long, long ago, the world was a dark and dreary place. But then God said four marvelous words. Let there be light. This book is about what happened then. As you'll see, God got very busy creating wondrous things. And eventually God said, let there be you. Yes. God wanted you to shine your own special light of love. Because without you, the world would not be quite as bright and beautiful. God bless you, Desmond Tutu. Isn't that beautiful? Oh, and the, um, the person that did the pictures wrote this. God's world is magical and magnificent. God has put color everywhere. As you explore the pictures in this book, look for it in the unexpected places. I'll bet you'll find it. And as you grow up, I hope you'll not only look for all the color in our beautiful world, but also for all the love that has been added to it. God has put love into everything in creation, especially you. And that's so true. Okay, let's see. Look at the baby giraffe. So let there be light by Archbishop Desmond Tutu. In the very beginning, God's love bubbled over when there was nothing else. No trees, no birds, no animals, no sky, no sea, only darkness. And out of this love, God spoke. Let there be light. And look at Light became. And there was day, and there was night. And when the first day was done, God smiled and knew that it was good. So this is night, this is day. On the second day, God said, let there be sky where the clouds can float and the wind can blow and the sky was bright blue and beautiful. And the clouds were beautiful white. Oh, look at you can almost like see the image of Jesus or God right there in the clouds. Do you see? Look closely. And when you when we do see clouds, look up and see the different images that you see. It's they're incredible. On the third day, God said, let the waters gather together into oceans and let the dry land appear. Whoa, that is so cool. Look at the waves of this ocean. And do you see God in it? Now God decided to make the world even more dazzling with tall trees and long grass. Wow, look at the trees. So beautiful. Do you have a favorite tree? I have one here in Ottawa and I just love it. It's by the water actually, it's very cool. Ooh. And then the first flower opened it all its glory. Look at that, that's a beautiful flower. Wow. This almost looks like the trees that I would think like in in the Sahara Desert maybe. On the fourth day, God said, let the sky be filled with the sun and the moon. There's the crescent moon and then there's the sun. Look at the waves. Beautiful. And God scattered stars across the sky like sparkling diamonds. Look, this looks like a, a wolf or a fox. Oh, is that a giraffe? You can see like the, 
the different star s sections. There's one called the Little Dipper and the and the the, the Drinking Gourd with the Big Dipper. On the fifth day, God said, "Let there be birds to fly and sing, and fish to swim and splash." And the world was filled with the joyous sounds of bird song. Oh, isn't that beautiful? Look at all the birds. On the sixth day, God sent, let there be animals, elephants and giraffes, and kangaroos and stuff. Look at them, beautiful. This is a big lion. And mice. Oh, do you see that lion? Oh, you put it on, you can see his lies almost. In the moonlight there. And bees and bugs. Oh, look at this. He's a beautiful tiger. Look at the butterflies. And suddenly the world was a very noisy place. But something was still missing. Can you guess? Let's see if you guess. <gasps> then God said, I will make people and I'll make them like me so they can enjoy the earth and take care of it. He did just as he had said and it was all so very, very good. He made the people to take care. Look at these beautiful children and these little baby animals. So gorgeous, eh? God looked at everything that he had made and clapped his hands together in delight. <gasps> Isn't it wonderful? And on the seventh day, God laughed and rested and enjoyed his glorious creation. Wow.